Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, things about AMC and Ape. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the trigger for AMC to take off, as shorts will be surprised. We're also going to be taking a look at a previous data which we covered and how it could actually be far bigger than we think, and a pattern that has sent AMC flying in the past before, which is again happening again, and many, many more. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the chart first for AMC. So firstly, if we take a look at AMC, we closed at 6.26 today. So we actually closed at a very, very nice level. As you guys can see, we closed above 6.23, which we talked about is a pivotal level in terms of the zone. I did also mention that pretty much the levels I am really looking at, the main ones, are of course, the 6.87.703 zone and the support at 5.56 and 5.47. These two levels coming in at 5.96 and 6.23 are of course of volume, but not heavy like the two zones I have highlighted. So again, you can see we've broken it, and this is pretty much the exact movement we talked about. We break above that, we're resisting at the 687.703. So what it looks like right now is that we're trying to survive and hold above the 623 to be contesting that 687 and 703 again in order to be breaking out. You know, this is what we're pretty much seeing. See the price breaks up, hit that foot pullback, and again, to try and actually pull back to this area before we contest that area coming in at 687 and 703. So, so far, everything we talked about in the Sunday outlook is pretty much happening. What we have to understand and see whether or not we can actually contest the zone again is the fact of how we react to the two levels that I have pointed out of 623 and 596. If we are able to hold above it, then of course, I do think it's very strongly that we are going to be testing that 687703. If not, it's very likely to see the price actually go below to uh, 556 and 547 and actually see consolidation in between the two zones. So that's what we want to be looking out for. If we take a look at Ape, so Ape today only up 1.81%. So what we're seeing with Ape right now is, again, trying to see a break above the 241 and 244. Now, like I said, for Ape, technical analysis is important in the short term, and we're definitely seeing a lot of pressure, as you can see by the tremendous amount of wicks upwards and the lacking wick downwards. But what we then have to bear in mind is, of course, if the conversion were to be passed and we were to get Ape to convert it into AMC, then regardless of what technical analysis there are, the price for Ape will be taking off. Now we have actually covered the price and you guys can check that out in the Sunday Outlook video. But essentially what we want to see is of course the price to break out above the zone of 241 and 244. If we are able to do so, our next level was facing a tremendous amount of resistance coming in at what we can see previously at this of course level before. We also then are going to be contesting the zone coming in at 276 and 279 for Ape. But let's take a look at some of the news. So this is the trigger for AMC to take off as shorts will be surprised. So this is from user of intellect. Now we have actually covered this particular um, news firstly, and we can actually see that of course AMC is doing well from where we left off. If we take a look at of course AMC from the 14th of February, but not only that, what he then talks about is as soon as SPY lands on the bottom of a previous trend line explained earlier, AMC and GME are going to fly. Shorts bet on the SPY downtrend and a positive beta. AMC and GME, so they went crazy shorting. They may get a surprise. So this is, of course, what we want to see. And just like he says, as soon as SPY lands on the bottom of a previous trend line. So in terms of, you know, the overall market and the correlation, this is what we could be looking at. Previously, he looked at it in the weekly time frame. He's obviously talked about the wedge and he talks about AMC. AMC. And back then he was talking about 500% plus daily short fee. We're going to be taking a look at how the daily short fee right now is at 900 and 700%. So the fee, the fact that there's been factors that's actually changed, which is even more positive for AMC. And so again, what we're likely to see, of course, is the price to take off. And definitely shorts will be surprised by that. Just to bear in mind that again, there was a previous hold level at this 687 and 703 zone. Now, if they haven't done anything to it, it still should be a very, very pivotal zone, but they have halted it previously. So maybe, you know, we are not expecting the same of our action that we were expecting in the past. Something else to be looking at is this is the data we covered in yesterday's video. So guys, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on these data, make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below. Essentially, what we talked about was, of course, the real 
data for AMC, where we like take a look at the real short interest at 9K. Um, you decided to 100%, which everyone knows. Zero shares available to borrow, 56 billion shares on loan, 51 billion shares shorted, 10,000 short interest interest, average cost to borrow at 903% borrow fee. Now, what David Stewart said, this, in my opinion, is on the conservative side of the actual data. Now, obviously, he hasn't listed out any actual data to look at it, or nor has he given any DD. But the reason why I want to talk about this was because he is not the only person who thinks about this. There's been many news now. Whilst he has not personally laid out any due diligence, we have actually covered in the past before of the amount of shares that's been shorted, of the amount of shares that are on loan, wherever we take a look at the offshore synthetics, the offshore FTDs, how firms are obviously covering it, etc., etc., and of course the dark pool as well, is that this could be on the conservative side. Now, comment down below. The reason why I want to talk about this is because if this were to be the conservative side of the actual data, bear in mind if data that is here is already true, it will still cause a massive, massive effect in the market and also for AMC. But if it's the conservative side, if this is still a number that is still very, very low in pale to comparison to what the actual number is, then one can only imagine what will happen with AMC once it takes off. And that also explains the continuous halt, why they're scared of AMC, why they don't want to see the price even move up to that $7 area, to that $8 area, to the $9 area for, of course, AMC, why they're scared at this area. You know, it makes sense when they're getting scared at 72, at 100, at 200, etc., etc. But it doesn't make sense when they're scared of AMC at $7. But that's if you put into comparison, if you put into um, you know, the results, the data that are out there of the billions of shares that are shorted, then it makes sense why they're scared of AMC reaching $7, $8, $9, $10, and etc. Now, this is the pattern I was going to be talking about. So this also goes to the technical analysis. So this is trading with emotion who talks about AMC could be in a flying V if it reaches resistance. Look at the last four. They all have projectors too. So it's been flying around whether it's the V pattern or the U pattern. Now he talked about the May 2021st, August 2021st, March 2022, August 2022. So if we take a look at the first one, so the August 2022, if we take a look and what we can see here is of course the V or if you want to look at it as a U, that's the first pattern. So for the August, then of course for March, again, this is more shaped like a V and he then talks about August and of course May. Now May, we all know what happened. If we take a look at May, obviously this happened. If we take a look at this and of course, August of 2021 and this as well. Now, not even that, if we look at just even previous data on AMC as well, and look at some previous area, because firstly, if we look right now, we are of course having this movement happening currently, and that is right now. But even before, you know, if we take a look at some small data, every time we've seen this pattern in the past before, we definitely have seen price taken off. And again, even if you take a look at November, price would have took off if it weren't for the halt that has happened. The same with this as well. Back in August, when the pattern did happen, we got halted and that stopped the price from moving even further. And so, you know, we have seen this multiple times. And just like I said, again, um, obviously with the February incident as well, the price being halted. So many, many times with this pattern, it has seemed to, of course, be showing that AMC is, of course, going to be taking off. It's actually going to be having a massive spike. And we're seeing this pattern pattern in the making right now. Now already we have laid out the resistance that of course in the way, whether it's 703 67 whether it's 762, 772, or the 824, 884 zone, these are all of course resistance. Now some of the stronger resistance will obviously be the 687, 703 as we saw a halt coming in then at 824 and 884 and even going to the past if we take a look at some of the other previous halt as well at 1605. So if we are seeing this V, this U pattern, whatever you want to call it, actually work we have to bear in mind how we react to the resistance and whether or not we will be of course halted because that is very very important then you know something else i think which shows the fear of these firms right now is taking a look at actually the interest rate they are willing to offer for amc now just less than a week ago we covered that they fidelity was willing to be offering 75 percent interest rate for amc shares and now Fast forward within three, four, five days, we're looking at an interest rate to be 91.5% now. So we're seeing a short amount of days that these guys are more than willing to be raising these interest rate. And this is 91%. This is almost doubling your money 
yearly just by lending out your shares, which you guys will not see in any other stocks but AMC right now, which also highlights the fact how scared they are, of course, of AMC. You know, if we take a look at Stone Cold Tracker and take a look at the shares available to borrow, which is 100,000, which instantly went, it was at 731.8%. And again, it's very simple. One week of no shares available and being on the threshold is boom, 700% plus CTB. Very predictable. 700% of $6 is $42 per year to borrow. That's how much they're paying for the AMC shares. They're desperate for shares as a ton of FTDs are due. They used to borrow shares as a locate for those FTDs. So again, many, many patterns, whether it's the V pattern, whether it's the conservative data, whether it's, of course, the breakout with the SPY, the breakout with AMC, you know, or the interest rate. Many factors right now leading to AMC, of course, really to be taken off and a lot of data, like I said, leading to that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time.